Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the factors of any given quadratic expressions. And here is our very first example. We want to find the factors of this uh, given expression. The very first thing, just keep in your mind that the leading coefficient is 1. And the next step is, I want you to write down this right hand side, this number on the top. I want you to write it down, negative 2700. And I want you to write down this middle number, the coefficient of x, which is positive 15 over here at the bottom of this x factor. So now our next step is to find the factors of 2700. Don't worry about this negative sign. We will take care of it later on. So let me just write down this 2700 somewhere here. Let me show you an easy way of finding the factors of this big number. Let me can we write 2700 as 27 times 100? So far so good. And then 27 could be factored out to 3 times 9. And at the same time, 10 could be factored out to 5 times 20. So far so good. Now I want you to just pair up these numbers. 9 times 5 is 45. So far so good. And 3 times 20 is 60. Now you can see that 45 and 60 are our two factors. If you multiply them, you're going to get 2700. So I want you to write down 45 right up here. Okay and 60 over here. Now the next step is we need to fix our sign. So since this is a positive 15, I'm going to make this positive 60 and negative 45. So these are our factors. So once again, if you multiply these one, you're going to get negative 2700. And if you add them, you're going to get positive 15. So our next step is I just want you to write down, put down these two parentheses. Just put down x and x. So far, so good. And now I want you to just simply write down this negative 45 right up here and this positive 60 right here. And these are our factors. Thus, x minus 45 times x plus 60 are our factors. And here is our next example, and we want to find the factors of this quadratic expression. Once again, the very first thing I want you to observe this one is that the leading coefficient over here for this expression is 1. And the next thing is I want you to just put down this constant number, the right hand side number 308 on the top of this x factor. And I want you to write down this middle number, the coefficient of x, negative 36 at the bottom. Now the next step is I want you to find the factors of 308. So let me show you a simple way to find the factors of this 308. Let's do like this one. Let me show you. 308 could be factored out to 2 times 170, 154 rather. And then 154 could be factored out to 2 times 77. 
and then 77 could be factored out to 7 times 11 isn't it now these are our factors 2 times 2 times 7 times 11 in other words 308 could be written as 2 times 2 times 7 times 11 so far so good and now i want you to look at this one over here i want you to pair up 2 times 7 is 14 and 2 times 11 is going to be 22 isn't it 14 and 22 is going to give you 36 that's what we needed so i want you to write down 14 right up here and 22 right up here let's fix the sign since this is a negative 36 so this got to be negative sign and this got to be negative sign as well so now you can see that this negative 14 and negative 22 if you multiply them you're going to get positive 308 and if you add them you are going to get negative 30 six our next step is i want you to just put down these two parentheses first of all i want you to put down x right up here and x over here and i want you to just see what are our factors one of them is negative 14 you just write down negative 14 over here and this is negative 22 and that is another factor so that is our answer and and this is our final answer x minus 14 and x minus 22 are our factors and now here is your assignment can you solve this problem on your own you need to find the factors for these two problems you can take your time you can pause the video luckily i have already uploaded this video as well please check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye